Welcome in, another five minutes with Sean, maybe 10. What they refer to as the dog days of summer going on. Hope you are making the best of it all. Um, so today is an old bit on the show. It's called uh, In Today's World Why, for, years of, for any of you who have seen it, it's basically where I just go to bitch about a few things that are going on recently around me that are not just, it's gotta happen more than once, all right? So let's first start with the idea of conversion in uh, in marketing and automotive marketing specifically. Uh, I, I know there's a big discussion about what's, what's true conversion, what's not, how do we standardize it, what's the, what's the next best way to do this, what's a change with GA4. I'm gonna simplify it for you. It's never changed because as dealers, there is an accepted level of information that they have, which is a conversion, which is a lead of any sort or a phone call. That's an opportunity to them. That is a conversion. So we call that a primary conversion. That's what we've called it for north of a decade now. And then after that, our secondary conversions, your VDP views, uh, you get into like, Google, you know, Google visits, store visits, stuff like that. Like these, these are not true conversions to the sense at which dealers care to take them as such with their spend or justify their spend. So I don't understand why we're so interested in trying to change something that no one's asked be changed. It's already been standardized. Anyone who is looking at data should know that, that the primary conversion is a lead. Phone call, email, chat, DR. That's it. I just, I simplify it all for you. So no one has to worry about writing white papers or going on and changing the world. It's really that simple. So by making it more difficult, they're bringing in the GA4 element, which isn't going to change how you view a conversion from its whole number perspective. It may change how you view the journey to it and who you give the credit to, et cetera, et cetera. But it's still going to be a conversion. And again, when you get into that stuff, you look at their engagement conversions on GA4, you're talking about tens and twelve thousands of things no one is going to be able to wrap their mind around that making a bit of difference when the, when the, the data is that gigantic in their face like that. 25,000 conversions. Oh, it sounds so great. Yeah, right. Every time someone scrolled somewhere, it was a conversion. Give me a break. Like, I don't know who thought this was a good idea to get in, probably to make marketing dollars go further and somehow cost per engagement data. Nonsense is my guess, but we'll see what happens with it. So just Take your time and really understand that the primary and secondary conversion data has never, ever changed. It's whatever you believe to be a lead, phone call, email, DR, and then whatever else marketers want to believe as far as VDPs, etc. That's fine. Even Google, I'd said it already. Their store visit stuff, no thanks. Definitely not a conversion. Certainly not something that should be part of a cost per conversion discussion at, any, at, a, at a high level, at least taken seriously. That, that's my opinion, but that's... That's what I've been looking at for the data here for, for quite some time, all right? The second one, Google related as well. Um, I don't know why OEMs feel it necessary to continue to infringe on car dealerships business unless, again, they plan on getting rid of them because now they're taking over Google My Business pages or creating duplicates or creating their own. Everywhere you go, the story sort of changes. The OEM has a different approach. Some OEMs you have to opt out of the service with for goodness sakes. So it, I just, I don't get where this is coming from. I don't know why they feel to be involved. I think there are bigger problems that they have, whether they say they want to continue to produce cars one at a time, uh, which there's no way I believe that. The second you guys start to use the three letter word that nobody likes to hear, which is age, people are going to have to start producing cars because they're not going to just have this be empty production of vehicles. So let's start back to what you're supposed to be doing and stop worrying about what dealers are already focused on or have people in their dealerships for or have access to con you know consultants or whatever but just give them best practices stop trying to take ownership of shit i don't understand the need to be that far involved in something you know even less about than what your job is lastly is more about having you know, the, the, the automated message is really the last in today's world why for me because I don't understand why we're still using it as much as we are because if you're not going to use it with intent and just use it as a blast machine, stop using it. 
So I'll give you two examples of automated messages. Uh, recently, I was in, you know invited to be a part of a panel discussion on something, and you know was oh thank you so much for being a part of our panel. You know here's the link to the panel. I was actually I didn't make the final cut of the discussion, right? For whatever is that funny to you? I'm sorry. Is it funny? <laughs> is it funny? It's like it's knocking me like, down a peg. Is that what this is about? Or it's not sorry. All right, you're the best. I mean, you know, like. It's just, she's laughing probably because of the way that I say it, but it the, was the, because you sent it to your partner and your partner. Yeah, well, I sent it to him. You set and him up. I did. I set him up and I said, "Hey, dude, take a look at this link and just review the information." And and this is the place that I was, you know, that I was supposed to be a part of, and you know, we sent all the stuff to and blah blah. And he comes back and he's like, "Dude, I don't understand. I I even did a name search of this fucking thing, and you're not in there." There's no part of you that's in this episode. And I was just like, oh, okay, well, that's, that's, then it makes two of us, you know, type thing. So we had fun with it. But there was an automated message thanking me for being a part of it. Oh my God, people love it. And sort of this sort of, you know, didn't happen thing, right? So, and it was automated. And I, you could tell it was automated. Everyone knows it's automated. That's the other thing. Everyone knows when shit's automated or done by AI and robots, okay? You know. Because robots don't um, and people um. So that's the basic way I can tell it to you. So even if you're angry or you're excited or whatever the case is, if someone on the other phone is a human, they will get an um instead of a silence and tell you to hit one or two. So, uh, but anyways, automation number two. Anyone who watches the show knows recently that my prize Subaru was damaged during a routine oil change that cost us its longest oil change of its life. Uh, I was like eight or nine days, whatever it was, seven days, don't know, don't care, felt like forever. And I get a, I get a text afterwards, which by the way, when I picked the car up, I was greeted by no one. Um, there was no one even around. I had to go get my own keys from the you know cashier, that whole thing. And it was sort of you know, a little bit unprofessional for what the situation was. But then I get an automated text, which by the way, Specifically on the automation of text messages, all right? This other one was an email DM type thing. This other one I referenced. But the, the specific text message. Um, I still hold my text message inbox pretty holy because I am I use it a lot for communication with people because it's just easier that way. So it's, it's something I try to keep as clean and buttoned up as possible. And when I get a bunch of automated bullshit in it, it makes doing that harder. And this automated text came in saying, Mr. Welsh, God, we're so glad we got to serve you. We hope you were thrilled with our service. Please call us again. We can't wait to help you. Come on now. Really? I'm not going to call you. I'm not going to, you're not going to service my vehicle ever again. I'm never, even if I have an accident next to your dealership or my car breaks in front of your store, I will pay whatever it takes to tow it all the way back across town to go somewhere else. So again, that's just me trying to have a little bit of fun at the expense of others. I apologize for anyone who may be offended, but those are what bothers me in today's world. So if you have something that bothers you in today's world and you want a place to say it, let me know and I'll say it for you. Thanks a lot. Have yourselves a great week.